Hi everyone, so this is a quick video to demonstrate how to use one parameter on DRoots1. Okay, so first of all, you can with this plugin you can easily manipulate parameter values on your Revit model. Okay, so first you have a list of all the parameters, uh, all the instance and type parameters in your Revit model. This list can be uh, filtered, can be sorted. Okay, you can search parameters in this list. You can also select if you want to see parameters from elements in the entire model or in the active view only. Okay, so basically, uh, what you can do is select or create a new parameter. Let's just create a new parameter that we can use for this demonstration. You can do that very easily using Param Manager. Okay, so we add parameter, uh, we come to categories, Let's test parameter, and let's add this parameter to the furniture category. Okay, apply, and that's it. You should have this shared parameter now in your list yeah test parameter you see that when you select this test parameter it will count the total of instances that has this parameter okay you can either filter this uh, this number of items by parameter value so let's say we have like uh, these two furnitures here we have what okay now what you can do here is just insert the parameter value and you can hit find and you see that the total of items change it to two because it's filtering only these two values okay you can click on this button to show the selected items Okay, and you can click this button if you want the search to be case sensitive. Okay, so if it's orange, it means that it's on the case sensitive filter. If it's white, it means it's off. Okay, so let's say you have these two items here. You want to add a prefix or suffix. You can just prefix underscore and hit add. You have this warning message. You hit OK and all the prefix were registered now if you select the element you see that the parameter value now has a prefix and the same thing goes for the suffix you can add the suffix let's add the underscore in the beginning now you can just hit add okay okay and it's done you see that if you let me just maximize this yeah so that now the parameter value has a prefix and a suffix okay also you can change the parameter value for all the the, the elements selected so parameter value it's just a test and just it will override existing parameter values you can hit ok and it's done now if you select this one you see that it changed all the parameter values for all the selected instances okay and you can also clear all the values okay so now if you select the parameter value is empty okay now you can delete the the filter by parameter value and assign a parameter test parameter value okay you can assign for all instances now that you have selected all instances that contains these parameters okay you assign to uh, all instances and now all of them have this parameter value okay and that's how you can uh, manipulate these parameters values using one parameter see you guys later